Confident computing number 806. Can my video chat be intercepted and recorded? Everyone, hope you're having a good week. Yeah, today's featured article is kind of an interesting one. It's one that I have taken, uh, I actually got originally years ago. But what really is interesting to me is uh, two things. One is I've been getting it over and over and over again, sometimes from some very, very panicked individuals. Uh, and you, you can imagine what they might be panicked about. Uh, but more interesting and more current is that uh, along with everybody using more and more online video, be it in business or even personal situations for a variety of reasons, it's really important to understand just who might and might not be watching and who might and might not be able to record the various videos that you might be quote unquote starring in. Also this week, the risk of searching for a support phone number. This one pains me every time I hear people doing it because it is a situation that is just rife with abuse. So here's the situation. You have a problem with say a free email service like Outlook or Gmail or Yahoo, and you don't know who to reach out to ask and you really want to talk to somebody, literally talk to them on the phone. So what do you do? You go to your favorite search engine and you search for that service and support phone number. The problem, the phone numbers that you will find that claim to be the support phone number for the service you're looking for won't be. And the news is not good. Also, should you take the flash update you've been offered? Flash is dead. Seriously, Flash is dead. In fact, it's very close to being completely nail in the coffin kind of dead as support is being removed from various browsers. And yet uh, there are some sites that still kind of sort of require it. But what's worse is that malicious malware authors are still relying on the confusion surrounding Flash to try and use it as a way to deliver malware to your machine. Don't do that. And how do you delete an old account if you can't log in, if you don't know the email address or the password associated with it? This is a conundrum. Some people have these accounts that they know still exist. They can't access them, but they want to get rid of them. The news, well, it's not really that great. How can I delete an old account if I forget my email and password is an important reminder uh, to not forget those kinds of things. So also this week we had an Ask Leo Live. We discussed two-factor authentication and I actually walked through adding two-factor authentication in a couple of variations on a Microsoft account. I strongly recommend that you do put two-factor authentication on anything that's important, the Microsoft account being one of them since now it's more and more used as the login account for your machine. Have a look at the video. You've got two options. I've got an edited down version of it, uh, which basically just does what I've just described. And of course, the entire uh, uh, live session is available for viewing and if you're a patron for download. Last week, we had a TEH podcast that unfortunately continues to talk about the coronavirus epidemic. We've got, I'll just call it an interesting variation on uh, how some of the measurements are being made when it comes to coronavirus uh, infection rates in a community. Lots of random different topics, everything from Zoom fatigue to SpaceX and more. So I hope you uh, get a chance to listen to that. I know we've got a potential update to one of the things we talked about coming up in our next podcast, the next episode of the TEH podcast. So I hope you'll consider listening in. That's about it for this week. I hope you'll find the newsletter helpful, entertaining, or at least not too boring. Until next time, I'm Leo Notenboom. This is Confident Computing Issue number 806. Can video chat be intercepted and recorded? Bye-bye.